As you guys know, the Super Monkey is the best late game tower in Blue and Sea Battles 2. Or is it? That's what we're gonna set to find out today because in the most recent update, Ninja Kiwi actually heavily nerfed the Super Monkey by fixing a bug with it. This is what they said. No balance changes for the Super Monkey, although note there has been a bug fix which is impactful in balance. 4 slash 5 XX with support sacrifice will no longer provide towers in range with plus one damage. 4 XX with support sacrifices was an extremely cost efficient upgrade due to this bug, so we fixed it without changing anything else. And this is why you saw me in the past using crazy super monkey strategies like sub farm super and just spamming the map with a ton of sun avatars late game and it always worked. But today I wanted to revisit the super monkey and see if it's still the king of late game even with this bug fix. So let's hop right into it guys, let's get it. And also if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It's free and it takes only like two seconds, so I appreciate it. All right, our first match of today's video guys is against I'm lost equals my hero. We are on the map of um, Dino Graveyard here with the strategy Dartling Super Monkey and Village, which honestly should be pretty fun. I had wanted to revisit this strategy because it did get heavily nerfed in the update. However, I still think it could be decent on this map in particular, just because Dartling Super Monkey is very strong on this map. And um, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. But first things first, I'm going to target my Gwendolyn. This was a very strong strategy last season as well. This was the, I'd argue the meta loadout. Well, one of the meta loads on this map. We got Dartling down. We got them to leak as well, which is fantastic. So I want to make sure I maintain that life advantage. They got their Dartling down as well. Nicely done. That's um okay, that's 350 to remove actually. It's a little bit more than I was anticipating. Oh, I'm lagging. That's annoying. I still have the life advantage, but I shouldn't have leaked. It was just there's a little bit of lag with my Dartling targeting, ladies and gentlemen. That is extremely frustrating. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, if they have life rejuvenation, they they there's not really much I can do this game, I'm pretty sure. They're sending me Bloom Boosted Pinks. No, they definitely don't have life rejuvenation because they're trying to make me leak here. They're trying to make me leak with these pinks. They definitely don't have life rejuvenation. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I was worrying for no reason. Yeah. They wouldn't have bloom boosted me pinks if they had like if they had life rejuvenation in their strategy. They would not have bloom boosted me pinks. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling, guys. No need to fear. Now I just need to maintain my life advantage. It's gonna be the biggest thing in this game. Maintaining my life advantage is gonna be extremely, extremely important here. Alright, round five. Both sending green balloons at each other. Fair enough. Pretty standard stuff. Um, now I gotta make sure I don't leak a single life, obviously, so I might end up going for a third Dartling, believe it or not, just to be defensively secure here. I don't think that'd be a bad decision. We have, what, six lives on my opponent right now is our advantage. The bigger life advantage I can get, that's gonna be better for me too, obviously, because I'll have a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a nest egg. Okay, let's get a third Dartling down on my end. Perfect. They actually go for faster barrel spin, that's fine. So a third Dartling is $50 more expensive than a faster barrel spin. However, faster barrel spin increases your Dartling's attack speed by 66%, while third Dartling is 100% more. So both work. But if I'm trying to be safe on my life count, I think a third Dartling is the play. All right, Sims Meows. We'll throw down this cocktail when it becomes absolutely necessary. At the moment, though, we're good. It appears. They use their cocktail, nicely done. Let's use mine. Alright, my eco's looking pretty solid here. Look at this, almost 800 eco. I'm liking, I'm liking how this is looking right now for us guys. I'm liking how this is looking. 800 eco has been hit. Send them purples. They're sending me purples as well. That's fine. Okay, I ended up leaking one life to that. That's totally fine though. Oh, I leaked more. They end up tower boosting. I'm down. Okay, I'm down to 141. I still have a life advantage. I still have a life advantage. We're chilling. Use cocktail. Target my dartling so they don't block it with purples. We're good. Region zebras don't do anything. Yep, their purple block tactic did not work. Okay. All right, one more eco boost, and I can get my hydro rock pods up. We're fine. All right. Well, this is going to be GG for sure because they can't defend. They don't have money. Wait, I don't have money to send though. Yeah, we forced tower boost. Hmm. This is interesting now. Do I try all outing them round 13 or is that too, is that a bad play? 
Do I throw by all outing them, chat? Or do I kill them? They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. They region farm too hard. They're dead. All right, we got it. We got the win. Okay, awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next Super Monkey game. Dude, I had to punish them there. They sent me in they sent me so many region zebras. I can't just let them I can't just let them get away with that, right? I had to punish them. I had to, I had to. All right, guys, our next match of today's video with the Super Monkey is on the map Salmon Ladder. Now, I never really have ran this strategy on this map before, so we're gonna be cooking as we go, but honestly, I feel like we could cook with it pretty well. They're starting with Druid. Okay, so they brought Fate Weaver Door and Druid here. So it's probably Druid sub farm for my point, my guess is. I'm gonna try to get DJ Benjamin round one here. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not going Gwendolyn like I did last game. I think Gwendolyn is really well good with Dartling on um, Dino Graver in specific. It just pairs really well. Gwendolyn works out super well with the placements and everything. But this map, I don't think it'll work very well at all. So we're gonna go DJ Benjamin. Plus, they are bringing Fate Weaver Door, so I can use DJ Benjamin and kind of counter the Fate Weaver Door by placing it in the corner of the map, which is kind of nice for us too. So I'll take it. Green balloons coming out towards me. I am gonna need to save up for a powerful darts here for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be leaking a lot against these. That's fine though. That's fine. I think two eco boosts and I get my powerful darts up. One eco boost. Come on. There we go. We're good. I actually didn't leak as much as I thought I would. In all honesty, I'm still I still have 79 lives. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. All right, I'll take it. But yeah, I think this is going to be the best starting Dartling spot. I can kind of keep my Dartling targeted this way and let these rounds kind of stall out a little bit, which will is exactly what we want. The longer these rounds are, the better chance I'll have in this match, since I'll have more eco. So just target my Dartling in a manner to let these rounds kind of stall out. Perfect. Round four with some space pinks. Let's get my balloon bot down here as well. They end up tower boosting against the space pinks. That's fine. They will need lightning on their end, though, pretty soon for sure. They will definitely need lightning. Let's get faster barrel spin on this. All right. Oh, well, this is good. And let's target upwards. Stole the round. Send some greens. They get lightning on there and nicely done. We're good against these whites right now, but I will for sure need more defense against white balloons or against black balloons. The CR2 dartling is not enough to handle black balloons, so. When they send those at me, I will need more defense, 100,000%. At the moment, we're kind of okay against whites. Yeah, yeah. They get their second farm down, nicely done. Send them black balloons, and we'll start saving up for my second darling. Place, perfect. We're good. Honestly, let's target this one up like this. So then um, I get layered on less if they send me yellow balloons, for example. Oh, that actually might've been a bad decision because now I just layered on myself. No, now we're good, we're good now. All right, so them yellows, they're going to use a door level three ability here. And they actually get Druid of Wrath as well. So we force defense on their end too, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I was going for. We're feeling good right now, guys. Almost 700 eco. Send some space purples here. All right. Now I need to make sure I can afford my Hydro Rocket Pods for round 11, as always, with this loadout. As always, let's get this up to faster barrel spin here. If they send me region zebras, I'll definitely need to be careful against those two. Region zebras are a bit of a threat. Right now, there's none coming out. Oh, well, right when I say that, they are sending them. The powerful darts here. I should be fine. That's enough. That's enough defense. Are they going to send me leads? There's the leads. Okay. I need to sell that. Yeah, I didn't want to sell my other, both my Dartlings to form my Hydraka pods, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. They get their submarines down there and nicely done. Where do I want to have my second Dartling placed? I'm trying to figure out the best place. Let's place it right here. Seems weird, but there's logic to the madness. There always is. I need to be careful against rushes. They have a lot of farms on their side, so they definitely have some rushing capabilities against me. So now I'm excited camel loot leads. They end up getting their submerge up. Nicely done. I want to make sure I can afford a buckshot in case they rush me. They go double plant on their side. Okay. They're ecoing at me. I will eco a little bit more. I just want to make sure I can always afford this buckshot and like one eco boost. 
The reason I, the reason I placed it up here, by the way, is for the buckshot. Um, crap, our darling targeting is awful. Holy cow, what am I doing? Let's get a laser shock on this. It's for the buckshot because you want your buckshot kind of more towards the start of the map since it does a lot of layers of damage. I want it hitting the rainbow bloom layer if they do rush me. In the case they do rush me. But right now, it doesn't seem like they're interested. I've still got enough money for it. Just want to always be able to afford this thing in one eco boost is the idea here. Still no rush. Okay. We're vibing. I don't like how we're chasing against these black balloons here. Let's just buy it. Let's just buy it. Let's just buy it, chat. Yeah, my darling targeting here is definitely suboptimal. Darling on this map is already just sketch, to be honest, but how do I want to... Hmm. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. I stopped chasing. We're fine. They got Ballistic Missile on their side. Nicely done. They end up using their level 3 Adore ability as well. Round 18. If they send me a Moab, I get a Super Monkey or Fortified Moab above a Super Monkey. I can fit a Super Monkey here. That's where I'll probably place a Super Monkey to defend a Moab. It's a pretty good range spot. Covers a lot of the track. Especially when the Moab is slow. It's not in the speed boosted area. They submerge. I'm going to send them some Zebra Blue, Nico. Cause some havoc on their side, maybe. We forced reactor. I'll take it. They're getting their druid leaks in, so nicely done there. Round 19. I'll just keep sending them zebras for now. Keep sending them some. It should mix in with the ceramic AI pretty well for us. They might have they're gonna have to tower boost this, I think. They're already chasing kinda hard. Or are they good? Oh, it's close. No, they're good. Nicely done. We got the round stalled, though. We got the round stalled, which is the main thing I wanted anyways out of that. Okay, we're going to this Moab, right? Yep. Let's get my village down. Right here. This will be a price. This will be an increased eco village in a little bit. Increased eco village coming up. Lickety split, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my eco here is actually not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Round 22 is it. They stopped the Rico. Are they sending me a Zeom G? They are. Is it fortified? It's not fortified. Okay. Let's go two discounts. Let's go Cooper Monkey right here right here. On strong. And we're gonna get knocked back on this guy in a second as well. Perfect. I want to slow this guy down as much as possible. And then in a second, I'm gonna get Dark Knight up. The Knight of Darkness. Perfect. And we're also going to cross path the top cross path with this. With this. We'll go buy jungle drums on this. We're going to dark shift this guy. Right here. I'll probably boost against this as well. And I boost against this. And I use Rocket Storm. And I use DJ3 ability. And I defend. Trust, 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 trust. Let's boost. Let's use that. Let's use that. Let's use that. Okay, yeah, we defend. We defend. I don't even know if boost is needed, to be honest. If you, if I just spam abilities after the um, ZMG pops, and I'm good. This is the whole idea. I just spam abilities. They call me the ability spammer, guys. All right, it's by uh, Monkey City. I, I kind of bought that super late because I was focused on defending, but that's fine. They got their Monkey Wall Street up. Nicely done there. Can I get a Jungle Drums Village down here? I can't. Mm. I actually might not want this to be my MAD spot then. Because I need my... I need my MAD to be jungle drums buffed. That's very important. Wait, I can't fit a village down here, actually. Okay. Never mind, never mind. We're good. I dark shift this down here. I can't. Okay. Oh well. Let's got let's get Monkeyopolis on this in a second. Get price discount on that. Monkeyopolis on this. Perfect. I fit another village down here. I'd like double discount. If possible. I think you can only fit one village down here, unfortunately. Is what is what it seems at the moment. That's what's looking like. Okay. Alright, I'm planning my defense out, guys. This, these are going to be like Dark Knights or Sun Avatars in the back with my MAD. Let's also get another Dartling here. Perfect. Our eco is looking great here. I like our eco. Are they dead against AI? They're not dead against AI. Okay, I would have been kind of upsetty spaghetti if that were the case. I think I'll stop my eco when round 29 hits. 
Oh, you go until round 29 here. They have good farms in their end, so that's one thing that's a little bit scary. They definitely will be able to send me a lot of B80s, which a bit spooky, I'll be honest, but we'll see if we can make it work. Okay, wait, round 29 hit, and I'm still ecoing. Let's just stop at 5,900. 5,900 eco, good amount. 5,902, okay. That's fair. Let's go with... Maybe I build these into sun avatars, actually. How many monkeys does the... Does the... DJ Benjamin ability effect because I can use the DJ Benjamin ability to buff my sun avatars damage Does it affect like seven? I think it was three four five six okay, I want I don't want it affecting my MAD is the thing if it affects my MAD that'd be bad because I don't want the down time to ruin my MAD I think this is a pretty decent defensive idea Some sun avatars here. They're definitely sending me a BAD. Yep Let's go for MAD ability here Actually, I maybe should have waited a little bit to use MAD ability just because it's kind of far away. All right, sell that. Monkey Intelligence Bureau. This should be more than enough defense to defend. Yeah, we're good. Trust, trust. Okay, it affects one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven monkeys is what it affects, okay. Honestly, I had like three discounts for my... Let's try to plan this out a little bit. This is where I'm going to have my um, homeland defense. Right? I want three discounts for my homeland defense. It's unfortunate I can't get my sun avatars discounted down here. Because there's no room for villages. Alright, just get homeland defense up. I still have two tower boosts available, which is nice. Do I build up a balloon exclusion zone, or is it better to go for more sun avatars over the balloon exclusion zone? I'm not entirely sure on that. Hmm, I don't know what's the better play. I'm kind of scared that they haven't rushed me yet, because they're going to wait till the BDs are really strong, I think, to rush. There, There's the rush, okay. Let's get exclu exclusion zone up. Boost. I need to micro my homeland 100%. No! Oh my gosh, I suck, bro. I didn't have money for my microing my homeland. Dude, my defense was so built so poorly there. Hmm. I think I need to place my sun avatars at the top, to be honest. I think my sun up one thing was my sun avatar spots were bad, but I also didn't micro homeland defense fast enough. There's a couple mistakes I made with the defense. All right. We'll give it a third and final try here. All right. Last match of today's video, guys. We're against Rexus Prack on the map of um, Castle Ruins with strategy Dartling, Super Monkey Village once again, and DJ Benjamin. We're going to start with our Dartling here. I don't think I'm going to go for round one DJ Ben this time. I'm going to go with a little bit of a different route. I'll just max eco it and go for like round three dj ben i think will be the route we'll take now they brought druid here which is actually pretty interesting and they also brought um striker johannes if i remember correctly so striker jones druid is certainly an interesting combination but yeah last game there's like i wasn't even close to defending the rush i think i could have gotten closer if i built my defense in a better manner i don't think my sun avatar spots are very good um and i also didn't micro my homeland defense quick enough at all but you know it happens. It happens. It happens. Maybe I go for round two DJ. No, round two DJ Ben is definitely way too greedy. I would leak a million half lives and probably have to tower boost. We'll go round three DJ Ben. Round three, three DJ Ben is typically what people do with this loadout just so they can max eco the first couple rounds. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Round three DJ Ben will be a fine thing. You might be wondering why I placed my Dartling here, by the way, instead of like the typical Dartling spot people place it of like up here. 
And the reason is, is pretty simple. Um, this spot stalls the rounds more. The balloons have to travel much farther before they get popped with this Dartling spot comparatively to the other Dartling spots. So pretty, um, pretty simple stuff there. Let's get my DJ Benjamin down though. DJ Men is in the house. We'll send him some pink balloons. All right. And I also don't think last game going for a balloon, air, balloon exclusion zone is very smart. I think just spamming more super monkeys is probably a better play than going for the balloon exclusion zone. So I probably won't go for Be Bez this game, but yeah. So that was another mistake I think I made for sure. But they're going in eco load, I'm pretty sure. So Druid Mortar Eco. Question is, what is their other tower? Other tower? Because we know they pretty much have to have mortar. They're going Striker Jones. Could be Druid Mortar Village. I have seen that loadout before a little bit in Whole Masters, and I've used it in a couple of videos as well. It's a very strong loadout. Druid Mortar Village is an option. Um, if it's not that, I don't know what it would be. I think I've seen people go Druid Mortar Submarine before. So I guess that's an option too. But my current guess would be Druid Mortar Village for sure. All right, we're going against these green balloons. They're balloon boosting at me. Okay. Uh, white balloons are actually going to do some damage because they layered over a little bit. But I'm just going to tank these leaks. Get a second darling up now. Yeah, that, I don't know if that warrants a balloon boost, to be honest. They, I'm not sure if that warranted a balloon boost. They got a couple leaks off of me there, but they didn't force a tower boost or anything on my side. Okay, we're going to use DJ Ben ability here in a second. Wait for these blue balloons to come over so then my Dartling one-shots them. Perfect. I didn't want to use it while this Dartling was shooting red balloons at the start. That would have made it a little bit less effective for us. It would have been a slightly less effective of a DJ3 ability. Alright, there's going to be more yellows. Let's go for a, another Dartling here, actually. Yeah, that should be enough to defend for the most part. Yeah, we're good. We're good. They're really trying to get a tower boost off of me here, but it's not really working. They're trying, though. I gotta give them props for trying. I'm down to 31 lives, though, so I have a leaked a lot. I have indeed leaked a lot. The zebras. Let's upgrade this to powerful darts. And then we'll get faster barrel spin on this guy in a second. Semi region zebras. And pinks on top. Okay, I had the party monkeys that, unfortunately. Okay, we're good against their pressure. This guy's been pressuring me a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Are they really are going for the kill against me. Um, stole this round out. Alchemist, Druid Mortar Alk. What is that loadout? Interesting. Very interesting loadout, okay. Did not expect Alchemist from them. Alchemist is not going to be bad for them, to be honest, though, because they will um, have rubber to gold, which is extremely good for making money. And then they can also, like, perm brew stuff and all of that jazz. So I can kind of see the logic behind Alchemist for sure. I still have three boosts on my side, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable with three boosts. Rushing them wouldn't be smart, though, because they can just Alk buff their Druid, and the Alk buff Druid is extremely strong against rushes. Wait, can the Alchemist th see through obstacles? What the heck? How's that throw in there? I did not know the Alchemist can see through obstacles, if that's what's happening on their side. They got the rubber to gold up, so nicely done. I was actually not aware of that. Unless it's just shooting around the obstacle. That might be what's happening, too, when they're in. It could just be shooting around it. Doing a little maneuver. I don't want to send them any black balloons now because they have their rubber to gold up, so... Black balloons would not be good. It would feed their rubber to gold. Still no rushes from them. They sent me a lot of stuff on like round nine, but then they haven't they haven't gotten aggressive again at me since that point. I'll go for a price discount village here pretty soon, I think. Alright, purple balloons coming out from the AI path. We're good against these. Let's just let some of these red balloons kind of wander on our side just to stall the round. Alright, we're fine. Let's get up a price discount village right here. Let's use DJ3 ability. We're good. They probably will re-rush me. I need to go for a buckshot against the re-rush. Or I go for a second Hydro Rocket Pods. Buckshot. This defends, right? We're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Buckshot defense. 
They keep layering on me, but they're small layers. Yeah, it's not going through. It's not going through. We're good. We're good. Trust in the buckshot, guys. Trust in the buckshot. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to get this monkey talent up here pretty soon. I'll be feeling pretty comfortable with that. They haven't sent me any Moab class rushes yet. They're going for a sec. They're going for a Leather Gold on the AI path, which is not a bad idea at all because there's some lead balloons that come out this round. And they build it into a rubbery wood as well. All right, Monkey Town has been bought. Getting some increased eco now up in here. Let's send them some zebra balloon eco. Oh, wait. Uh, let's not do that yet. I feed the rubber gold with it. I still will send zebra balloon eco because I just need to for extra money, but let's not do it yet. Let's get my um monkey city up first before I do it. I think we'll get our monkey city up first. Moab class balloon. Let's go for a super monkey here. Just a little unupgraded one. All right. They went for three. This guy's the rubber to gold spammer, dude. Three rubber to golds already. Okay. I see you. Uh, let's get uh, one more eco boost. So I'll get my monkey city up. One more eco boost. And now with this, I'm going to send them zero blue Nico now. Stole the round. Don't let this. Yep. Perfect. Stolen the round. Super important. Round 22 is hit. They're starting to build up Druid Farms on their side. Nicely done. Our only money is going to come from our Eco and our Monkey Altus here. We don't have any, like, farming things in our loadout, unfortunately. And our DJ Benjamin. DJ Benjamin does give us some good money, too. So, I'll take that. Honestly, do I send them some Purple Blue Nico? Just for just for this round alone. Only round 23, I'm sending them some Purple Blue Nico. I think it might be a smart, kind of smart decision on our end. And now we'll go back to Zebras. Just get a little bit of extra eco there. Now, one thing about their loadout is their Druid Farms and Rubber Gold somewhat counter each other. Because the Druid Farms, once they start to build up a ton of them, will start to pop all of my balloons. And then the Rubber Golds won't really make money from them. So, there's a small anti-synergy in their strategy from that. Which I thought should be noted. But right now, it doesn't seem like that's really happening too well. They don't have very, as many Druid Farms up. So, they're just making a lot of money from my Zebras. But it's still wise for me to send Zebras, even if they're making a lot of money from them, just because I need the more eco, guys. I need to be able to afford a lot of defense for late game. So getting the faster eco from the Zebras is super important for me at this point in the game. It's still a wise decision, even if they're making good money from it. Okay, we're going to set Moab. Let's go for that on our side. Monkey Commerce. We'll get three monkey commerces up. We'll get jungle drums on one of these. And that'll price discount this guy in case they send me DTs. I'll have a really cheap dark knight I can build up. Which will be nice for us. I'll probably stop sending them zebra blue Nico on round... Hmm. On round 27, maybe? Now, the reason I didn't send zebra blue Nico last game, by the way, you might be wondering, like, Ryan... You sent, you're sending so many Zebras this game. You didn't send very many last game. Is because my opponent has an Eco strategy this game. Against farm loadouts, you can't afford to send as many Zebra Blue Nico because they'll have more money to rush you in round 30. But against Eco loadouts, sending Zebra Blue Nico is not always a bad decision, like a lot of it. You play the game a little bit differently based on what your opponent's doing. Making some soul money from Myopolis. you love to see that. Honestly, I might go for a Sun Temple this game, as weird as that sounds. Since this game is going late for sure, Sun Temple might be a smart decision. Um, hmm, it might be a smart decision, even though it was nerfed and I'll have less damage from it. The increased attack speed it gives, the price discounts and stuff are still pretty useful. And it still does give plus one damage, it just doesn't give plus two damage anymore. We'll see though, we'll see. They get Permabrew on there and nicely done. The Permabrew can't be moved though, they don't have Heli. I don't think the Permbrew hits what their Avatar of Wrath would be either Either way as well. I don't know about that Permbrew spot they use, they're using. This will be my spot of my Sun Temple if I go for it. I'm going to stop my Eco at 7,750 I think. Will be my economy amount. Okay, that's enough for Magic Sacrifice. We'll start kind of figuring out the Sacrifices here. A little bit. This is not enough for Military. Okay, that should be enough for Military now. Oh, that doesn't even reach my... It doesn't even reach my Rocket Storm. Okay. That's enough for military. Oh, wait. I went for more eco than I said I would. Let's go 8250. 8250. 8252 is enough. Okay. 
That is not enough support yet. Let's go for a little bit more. Let's see. That's enough for support. Okay, we have enough military magic. Right? That's not enough magic yet. That's enough magic. And Okay, we have enough of everything now. I think... Once I hit 200k, I'll be comfortable building up my Sun Temple. Once I hit 200k, I want to get a little bit more money first. Before I'm comfortable making a move like that. Do I wait longer? The Sun Temple Anti-Stall is a thing too, which I don't really like. Because hmm. I'm making money from a Mon Monkeyopolis right now. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Because I'll sell my Monkeyopolis when I go for it. Because the monkey office would be over sacrificing into the support sacrifice. It would be over sacking. Oh, they do have life rejuvenation with their strategy, by the way. I didn't even realize that. They have Spear of the Force. So they, this game could technically pass around 40. Maybe I go for more eco. My opponent's still ecoing. Maybe I go for more eco then. My opponent's definitely planning on taking this super late if they're still ecoing. Yeah. I didn't even think about the fact. I thought that I'd be able to GG them around 40. I didn't even think about the fact that they could life rejuvenate. So that changes up my game plan a little bit. Hmm. That changes it up a little bit, chat. I'll be honest here. Might aim for like 10,000 eco then. Definitely should still be ecoing though. Around 36. Got a BFB in comments. Just target all my stuff on it. Let's use Rocket Storm because why not? Rocket Storm OP. All right, we're good. Yeah, they will go. So I go. Do I stop at ten thousand eco? <laughs> Their side looks kind of crazy over there. I'm not even gonna lie. Their side looks kind of wild with everything they've got going on. Their late game should be pretty strong though. If they fill the full map up with artillery batteries, with their perma brood, sun superstorm, and everything, and then their total transformation, their late game should be pretty strong on their end. All right, eleven ten thousand plus eco. And we're both still eco going here. Almost at $500,000 on our side. Let's build up enough. That's enough magic. We've got enough military in here. We're, we're going to go for a true sun god, I think, guys, by the way. This is the plan. That's enough. That's enough support. Okay, we have enough of all the sacrifices. I'm going to wait till I have a little bit more money. And then I'll build up the true sun god. So True Sun God used to give five damage to um my towers, but after the bug fix, the nerf, it's gonna be given three damage. So it's gonna be given the same damage as the old Sun Temple. But obviously the True Sun God still gives more buffs, like bigger price discounts, um, more attack speed, more range. It does more damage than the Sun Temple. So there's other benefits to it over the Sun Temple. Once I had 500k, I'll go for it. I think that's a good nest egg. Let's remove the obstacles. I want all of these guys triple discounted. Triple discounted and true sun god discounted, guys. They're super discounted. Super discounted sun avatars. Yeah, look how cheap they are. $7,000 for sun avatar. That's pretty cheap. Opponents obviously still aren't planning on rushing me for a while because they're still eco going. So I guess I'll still eco a little bit. I'll get up a monkey opus on my side. If they're still eco going, I, I gotta still eco for a little bit longer at least. Let's go for my MAD here. MAD is 61.2k, so it's still pretty expensive. It doesn't get price discounted by the village like the other things do. Okay, they're getting A-bats on their side. Nicely done. Okay, I feel like this true Sun God's hitbox is crazy big too. It's very large. Let's get some Sun Avatars up here. We'll stop at 12,500 12, eco will be my stopping point. I've changed my stopping point of eco like five times this game, but it is what it is. That's how it be. Oh wait, I passed 12,500. Let's go. Let's go 13,000. Let's go 13,000. 13,000. Okay. Final stopping point. 13,000 eco, ladies and gentlemen. All right. 13,001. Because I messed it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's how it is. So they're definitely going to have a lot more money than me late game. Um, With their druid farms and everything like that. But I should have a stronger defense. Wait, that's not in the range of my... I only want to place stuff in the range of my true sun god. All right. We're looking good. I'll hit him with the late game emote. 
Bro hits me with the late game as well. This will be interesting. I definitely think I can have a stronger late game, but... Mortar Striker is an incredibly strong late game, and they have Druid to blow back the insides and total transformation and stuff too, so... It might not look like they're doing that well right now against like AI and stuff, but they're not using their Striker ability. When they use their Striker ability, it substantially increases the strength of their defense on their side. Yeah, we'll go for Legend of the Night on our side as well. That's going to be all the defense I go for. anti balloon would not will not be worth for me. It's just too expensive, I think. I want to make sure I save some money so I can rush them. Let's, buy the, let's click the Fortified upgrade. Let's send them one. They're sending me one. That's home and defense. That's MAD ability. Send them another one. We're going to keep them spaced. That's actually tower boost. I have tower boost to burn. Why not? They're actually strugg they're struggling against the AI BAD. They're trying to micro striker Jones right now. They're struggling against the AI BAD though. They might die against that. No, they're good. They're good. Oh, it's because all their mortars are targeted at the bottom. That's why they're struggling against the AI BAD. All their mortars are targeted at the bottom. That makes sense. They're dead. Oh, their Superstorm clutches up. They're defending. I'm defending. I'm actually running out of money, believe it or not. Bloon boost? I'm running out of money to rush them. Maybe I built up too much defense. No, they're, they're getting overrun. They're getting overrun. They're going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die. Trust. They're going to overrun. I micro home and defense again on our side. Keep selling off some of my defense. Keep sending them. Wait, maybe they aren't going to die. Holy cow. Maybe they aren't going to die, chat. They died. Okay. Oh, I started to worry there a little bit. I definitely would have had a lot more money if I stopped, if I continued eco in the entire game. I definitely did not have as much eco as I should have, but dude, Mortar Lake game is, is definitely strong. That was a fun one though. Let me know your thoughts on the Super Monkey. Do you think um the Super Monkey is still viable or do you think the nerf killed it? But that's it for today. Ramag out. Peace, lads. Thank you guys so much for watching.